Dry eye affects over 40 million people in the U.S., and it is believed that only 2.5% of those people are accurately diagnosed and treated. One of the major causes of dry eye is meibomian gland dysfunction, known as MGD. And because it is so unclear how to accurately diagnose MGD, TFOS took the initiative to sponsor a workshop and publish a report. There was no consensus worldwide on how to do this. And so what we did was to bring together 50 leading experts throughout the world, many of them clinicians, and we divided them up into groups to address various aspects of MGD. I remember the phone call with David and he you know, asked if I had an interest and I said yes. If this goes forward, I am committed because I believe in, uh, uh, in this process, in the workshop process in that they create knowledge that can be disseminated to clinicians and researchers. And I feel passionately that the meibomian gland is an area of interest and is, is critically involved in dry disease, so I want to understand more. Kelly was unanimously nominated by her peers to chair the workshop. I was very committed to see the process through, and I knew it would be a lot of work, but I felt that the outcome would really be important. Uh, I was very influenced by the NEI industry report that was published in 1995 on dry eye. I felt it provided a blueprint for my own research career in terms of areas and questions that need to be answered within the field. I feel that the two, 2007 dues report provided much that same uh, blueprint for young investigators. After years of extensive research and collaboration, a comprehensive and groundbreaking MGD report was produced by TVOS. This concept of bringing together an international group of uh, experts in the field, clinicians and scientists, is a pioneering approach um, to assimilate the knowledge in a topical area in one place. And so the information that's in one of these reports really is cutting edge. It's not two years behind the publishing process, it is current and up to date. And so that provides a really good outcome or an avenue to give information to real current information to those all over the world that are looking for it. Translations are excellent for that as well. This report, the large report, smaller parts of the report will be translated into over 13 languages throughout the world. The goal here is, is the TFOS goal. We want to educate people, we want to increase the literacy, and we want to promote collaboration and discussion about these topics. What it is, how to diagnose it, how does it come about, and how do you treat it? And we are distributing this through various mechanisms, probably to over three to 400,000 eye care practitioners throughout the world. The 2010 MGD report is now the second comprehensive report produced as a result of the collaboration of scientists and clinicians brought together by TFOS. In reading the whole thing throughout the editing process and many, many reviews or revisions of the, of the manuscript, uh, I learn something new every time. Some of the sections are just so well written and thoughtful because of the quality of the individuals that put them together. And the thoughts really do kind of come alive on the page. So I, every time I open it, I'm impressed. The other day I looked in there for a table and I thought, that's a really great table. I hadn't given it perhaps fair due when I looked at it the first time and I think I'll continue to be surprised by the quality of work in the document. And you can see it has some good substance to it. It's over 150 pages long. And so it really is a, a a, a wonderful single document on the meibomian gland. Our hope through TFOS is to increase the understanding of the disease, how to diagnose the disease, and how to effectively manage and treat the disease. To disseminate that knowledge to places throughout the world that typically don't receive that information so that we can then begin to better help patients in generally and improve their treatment. I didn't know all the individuals that were on all of the committees when I started, but I do now, and I enjoyed working with everyone so much. I mean, there are so many high quality scientists, but not just that, really quality individuals and friends, now that I can say that 
I've met, and I think that is a hallmark of TFOS. Uh, people enjoy each other's company, enjoy the scientific banter, uh, like seeing each other at meetings, and that I think provides the backbone to make a high quality product like the MGD report. I think that um, ultimately people like working together in a collaborative way and TFOS really fosters collaboration.